time to put our teachers to the test. We've challenged teachers from all around the school to share their favorite books with us by making 30-second book talk videos. I even heard there's a great prize for the teacher that wins the competition. We will play the videos on PTV News today and tomorrow, and then you will need to vote for your favorite videos using the Google form on Patriots on the Patriots website. Let's get started. The first team to compete is Team Bookheart! On Friday, you will vote on which of these four videos will make it to the semifinals. Take it away, Miss Fur. Have you ever felt grumpy in Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses by Kimberly and James Dean? Pete and his friends share some magic sunglasses to help them see things in a whole new way when they feel grumpy, mad, frustrated, or sad. But when disaster happens and the sunglasses go crack, the wise old owl says, just remember to look for the good in every day. This is a brightly illustrated rhyming book with an amazing message of positive thinking. Hey boys and girls, this book is my favorite. This is the Lorax. I've been reading it for years and years and years. It was written in 1971. I was alive back then. This book is about the Wetzler who chops down truffle trees. And the Lorax is very angry at him because he chop chops down the truffle trees and he tells him to stop. But the Wetzler doesn't stop. The Wetzler doesn't stop. He keeps chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping. And finally, there are no more truffle trees. They're all gone. And my favorite part of the book says, Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. You guys have got to check this book out in the library and read it. Read it a lot because it's really cool. Bye! Hey guys, this is Miss Copeland, and I think you should read Cat in the Hat <laughs> by Dr. Seuss. I love this book because it's silly and fun. This will be a good book to check out during Read Across America week when we celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday, which is on March 2nd. So the next time you go to the Media Center, make sure you look for this book. Dogs don't know what to do with the thing until little Pip Squeak discovers it's a fuzzy thing. Make sure you read The Great Fuzz Frenzy by Janet Stevens and Susan Stevens Cromell to find out exactly what fairy dogs can do with a little bit of fuzz and a whole lot of imagination. Wow, I don't know about you, but I have no clue which book talk I'm I'm gonna vote for. That was amazing! I know, but let's see what the next team has in store. Next up, the K-1 Wonders! Remember, on Friday, you will decide which teacher continues to the semifinals. Let's get started. Here's Miss Flanagan. Hola! My name is Capito Fasquito. I am the great sword fighter. I am here with my friend Mrs. Flanagan. She is going to tell you all about my wonderful book. Hi, boys and girls. I am here to tell you all about Skippy John Jones by Judy Satchner. She writes lots of adventures all about my friend here, Skippy John. There are so many books written about him, and he has so many wild adventures. He's such a silly, silly cat. Please read Skippy John Jones or any of his other adventures. Hi, my name is Lane, and I really think you should read this book called Christine the Cat. It's about a funny, adorable, and lovable cat. She goes on adventures with her friends, including her sister Stormy. Did you know practical uses for marshmallows? Well, Christine's there to teach you. Did you know you can lay on it? What about chewing on it? There's so much fun in this book. Check it out at your local book fair or library. Bye! B F G Old Dog Imagination Challenges your waiting skills. Here's a chapter book. Book and it makes people happy and nervous. Sophie is brave to talk to the BFG. A big, friendly giant and will not eat Sophie. All adventure to catch dreams. Go to England together. Sophie and the BFG to go on an adventure with. They went to see the Queen. Spoiler alert. You should really read the BFG. Hey everybody, this is my friend here, Skippy John Jones. I just love reading books about him. He has a new one called Skippy John Jones, Snow What? He has these sisters. Their names are Jezebel, GGB, and Jilly Boo. And they are always doing girl stuff, and it really just kind of gets on his nerves. I bet some of you can understand about having sisters that might get on your nerves. I want to share with you one of my favorite parts of the whole story, and it's a little song that my friend here, Skippy, sings, and it goes like this. Oh, my name is Skippy Dopper Skittle. 
and then there were no fuzzy telly dough. It's got plenty of fights, but no one wears tights, and that's the best part, meets amigos. I hope you'll join me in reading the story about Skippy John Jones. One more team today! Ole! The teachers have really brought their A-game to this book talk championship. The next team that will showcase their book talk skills is... The mystery, mystery team. Ooh! Let's do this. Here's Miss Staten. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Miss Staten in my secret reading place. And I'm here with one of my favorite books, Liza Lou and the Yellow Belly Swamp. In this story, Liza Lou does all sorts of errands for her mom in the dangerous swamp that she lives in. And she has to outsmart and outwit many crazy creatures like the swamp haunt. Oh, scary. Anyway, read this book to figure out what all she has to do to escape those bad guys in her swamp. Will you hear that? Oh no, what's in my office? <gasps> If you're looking for an amazing book to read, stop right there. The Fantastic Secret of Owen Jester by Barbara O'Connor just might be the best book ever. In the story, Owen moves to the Georgia countryside to live with his grandfather. Just one problem, his grandfather's nosy neighbor Viola, who knows everything, or thinks she does. On his first day there, he finds a huge bullfrog that he captures and names Thule. One night, he hears something big fall off the train behind his grandfather's house. Will he be able to keep his great discovery a secret from nosy Viola? Will he be able to test his find before the railroad company realizes it's missing? Read The Fantastic Secret of Owen Jester to find out. Wild River by P.J. Peterson is full of action and adventure. Tanner, 16 years old, convinces his brother Ryan to go on an overnight whitewater rafting trip down the Boulder River in California. In the first hour of the trip, the raft crashes into boulders and Tanner is not unconscious. After is how Ryan, who considers himself a video gamer geek, uses the skills he has learned while conquering a new video game. Skills like perseverance, strategic planning, and creativity to overcome the river and his own fears. I need a hero, and that is why I love Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. I love Naya, who walks back and forth the fresh water for her family. Sometimes it's not even fresh water every day, back and forth. And I love Saba, a boy who grew up with such difficult times and lost his family, but still goes back and continues to help others when he's an adult. Both of them in Sudan. That is why I love Mark Mark. Well, that's all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more book talks from your favorite teachers. Happy reading!